Got it. So over there is Puntito del Diablo, where we went yesterday. And over here, this uh, area of mountains. Let's see if I can get it on the camera over here. This is Pico Ua, which is comprised of Ua Negra, Ua Blanca, and Rita Cuba Blanco. So we're planning on going over in that direction tomorrow. This is uh, El Valle de Frailejones. So that's all these uh, 
interesting looking plants that you see ahead of you. These are, uh, they only grow up at high altitudes and they're pretty interesting. They look like something prehistoric. Fry lejones. Over there at the top, there's a whole mountainside full of waterfalls. Very beautiful. We're up at uh, over 4,000 meters right now so far today. The valley where we were is right down there with the Fry, Halon, Fry Lejones. Lejones. Here we are, but all of us together. Here's the pathway going up. Here's where we came from going down. Pretty steep right now, but not as bad as yesterday. Here you go guys, down there is the valley, so we're up uh, I think around 4,100 or 4,200 meters and we're almost level with the, the waterfalls that you saw earlier coming down the mountain. If you look, right around there is one of the areas where Come down or really far up there uh, where there's snow. It's kind of like the beginning of some of these waterfalls. There's two sets that look like they merge and come down. And yeah, it's just been a perfect day. This whole time we've been here in Kukui, the, uh, the climate has been perfect. Perfect weather, just the right amount of sun, breeze, it's been great. And here comes Abby and Miriam, La Familia. It's a great weather, right? Here we go guys. So far we're up at uh, 4,200 meters. Yesterday we ended at 4,800 and change. 
So today we're heading to the Laguna and uh, Abby and her mom are taking a little break at the moment down there. So I'm just capturing a little bit of the scenery here. The weather's just been spectacular. I didn't ask for much better. It's a beautiful, beautiful country. And this is just one area. We've got the other stuff like Tolima and Huila and Santa Marta. There's so many mountains here in Colombia and I imagine that they have their own neat qualities just like this area. So hopefully we can visit those sometime in the future. So we got a little bit of ways to go. I think about two or three hundred more meters to the area we're headed. So I'll talk to you guys in a bit. down there guys there's the pulpito del diablo from yesterday at 4800 Difícil, ¿no? Yeah, I filmed it. El perrito y yo. Vuelo a You can see the snow also there from Pan de Azúcar. It's right behind it. It's kind of in the clouds a little bit. Yeah. Over here you can see Uwa. Uh, this is Uwa over here. Oh, yeah, covered by this. Yeah, well, wow. now, I pointed it out earlier, but okay. yeah, this is Uwa here. Cool. And you can see part of it back here too, right above the ridge. Legit. Legit. <laughs> here we are a little bit higher. And 
came to this natural little lagoon here, which is beautiful, very clear. Up there you can see uh, Pulpito del Diablo. It's kind of obscured in the clouds now. Over here is Ua. This is a place of power. Got you on camera pissing. <laughs> so, <laughs> I guess I can blur you out later. Yeah, Okay, so here is uh, where you see the top of all those waterfalls earlier. And the valley we came from is down that way. Here we are, we got a nice little cave area here. Right now we're around uh, 4,300 to 4,400 meters. It's kind of uh, cloudy now, so the temperature's dropped. Although, when it pops out, it, it basically changes the like 10 to 15 degrees or more. It's like going back from Colombia back to Panama. We're close to the top now where we're headed. There's a uh, Ua right there. That snow covered peak. It's been a really good trip. Really, really nice day. And much different uh, experience than yesterday. Na photo natural. Well, I would give you the th 
the two fingers, but I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Get a shot of the boulder field and stuff. Try to point out the pulpit, though, maybe. Oh, good uh, cover, but the. <laughs> This other mountain range is now is Toti. And this is the other side of Pande Asuka. And Pulpito up there. And then there's another called Concavo. I guess because of the shape of it, it's concave. Mm, yeah. And then this should be Ua right here. Yeah, there's so much clouds. It was a little clearer before you guys got up here. Uh, maybe when we come back down, it will clear up, you know? Yeah. No, otra vez. Yo soy chocolate. There you go. <laughs> okay. Abre esta vaina. Esto es. Esto es vida. Y era mascota. Vamos a vivirla, vamos a vivirla todo, el calor, el frío, la lluvia, sudor y lágrimas, el, el soracho, ¿cómo es? Soracho, soroche, soroche, el soroche, el dolor de estómago, todo, la vamos a vivir. Hamburguesa gourmet preparada por la plaza. Por la pla no, la pla alguien en la plaza. Alguien en la plaza de... We can. Donde esta chocolate? Chocolate, did you open your, your wow. burger already? Yeah, I did.
here we are we're coming back down and we decided to check out this cave a little bit so as the lore goes there were germans back in the 1930s who came here did they explain for what reason or what uh to hunt ducks so they used to, to hunt stay ducks. here so they used to the stay night. here during the night time so the ducks the next morning would be wet and easier to hunt and during that time that's where the natives explained to them about the pulpito del diablo how supposedly the devil was seen at the top of the mountain riding on a donkey and creating fire in the area and that the pulpito is cursed because uh, they tried to exercise it at one point there was a there was a uh, group that went up with some German climbers along with some priests to exercise the area and after that they say that the devil cursed the place so that snow could never fall and cover the area because it never does and uh, well later on a scientist went there to study the area and it seems that this entire area was underwater at one point in time and that particular rock formation has some some combination of minerals in it that uh, doesn't allow snow to stick to it so that's the gist of the, the tale. They tell it a little bit better in Spanish, but well, I tried to do my best for you guys. <laughs> All right, we're headed down. <laughs> 